How to Treat Cebriac Dermatitis Cebriac dermatitis is a skin condition that frequently affects the scalp. It's a common ailment that can cause patches of scaly skin, redness, rashes, and dandruff. Cebriac dermatitis can also target oily areas of the body including the face, chest and back. Treating the condition with over-the-counter shampoos. Shampoo your hair and scalp at home. This is more for when applying dandruff shampoo treatment on the scalp. The over-the-counter treatments for cebriac dermatitis in shampoos should include one of the following, coltar, ketoconazole, salicylic acid, selenium sulfide, or zinc pyrithin. Wash the scalp daily with the chosen product and warm, not hot, water so the skin is not damaged. Continue this for a couple of weeks. If the condition hasn't improved, gotten worse, or you are otherwise concerned about the situation then you need to consult your doctor. This is usually the step to take for infants with cradle cap irritation. Apply treatment creams, gels, and skin care products for other areas. The dandruff shampoo treatment may be very specific, but you can still look for several qualities in products for other areas of your body. Look for antifungal treatments, creams that fight rash, itching, and inflammation. Get skin moisturizing creams and gels. Find ones that are oil-based, not water-based, so they actually trap in moisture. Treat the affected area to regular washing with the cream, gel a couple of times per day. Continue this regular washing for a week or so. If there is no marked improvement, worsening of the condition, or you are worried about the condition then you should consult your doctor. Apply or ingest products with alternative additives. There are a number of inconsistent remedies you can also add to your shampoos and creams that could help your condition. You can try adding tea tree oil to your shampoo. Adding 10-12 drops could add some antifungal and astringent properties to the treatment. But there are studies suggesting that this substance has a high risk of inducing allergic reactions. Taking fish oil supplements can help reduce inflammation and accelerate processing of other vitamins which help with skin healing. Apply creams with aloe vera. Aloe has antibacterial and skin healing properties thanks to its improving of blood circulation. Talk to your doctor. If none of the over-the-counter home remedies work, and or your condition worsens, then you need to seek medical attention. You can help your doctor help you by preparing to answer questions about your symptoms, timing of your condition, treatments you've tried, what other medicines you are on, and any life changes or stress you might be experiencing. Apply shampoos with more care when dealing with an infant. Infant's skin and scalp may be more easily irritated by some products. Consult a pediatrician if you are unsure of what to use. For infant's scalp you should rinse it daily with baby shampoo and warm water. Don't move on to dandruff shampoos or other lotions without consulting a pediatrician. For infant's skin you can use mineral oil to gently rub on affected areas along with warm water. Then use a baby hairbrush to remove scaly skin. If none of these techniques work or you want to try other products then you need to consult a pediatrician. Using medicated shampoos and creams. Apply creams, shampoos or ointments that medically control inflammation. Your doctor may recommend one of several prescription strength substances to apply to the affected skin. These shampoos and creams may include, hydrocortisone fluosinolone, or desonide. Desonide, or sometimes daoin, is a corticosteroid applied to the scalp or skin. They are easy to apply and effective for cebriac dermatitis, but extended use for months can lead to thinning skin or streaking. Rub on a medicated scalp product along with antifungal shampoo. Your doctor may simply add the scalp medicine to your existing routine, but follow their advice precisely. For example you may have a shampoo with ketoconazole that you already are using regularly. But your doctor may then add a medicated scalp product such as Clobetasol, Temovate, for you to apply twice a week. Ingest pill-based treatments. 
Sometimes your doctor may prescribe an antifungal medication to fight condition from the inside. A prescription used for this situation is sometimes terbinafine, lamisil. This is not a common recommendation because of the higher risk of side effects from the drug including liver problems, and allergic reactions. Consume immune system affecting drugs. These are higher risk medicines that alter the skin's immune defense system to reduce allergic reactions that cause irritation. Your doctor may prescribe creams, topical lotions, or similar medicines that contain a class of drugs called calcineurin inhibitors. They are usually tacrolimus, protopic, and pimegrolimus, a little. These topical drugs may be at least as effective as corticosteroids, and with fewer side effects. They do have an increased risk of cancer, higher purchase cost, and can't be used by someone with an already weakened immune system. Apply antibacterial gels or creams. Your doctor may prescribe one of these until you see your condition improving. Your doctor's prescription may include metronidazole, metro lotion, metrogal, to use once or twice a day. Pursuing other treatments. Wash your skin regularly. Keep the affected area in particular clean and soft. Clean off soap completely from your body and scalp. Don't use abrasive soaps or harsh chemicals. Use moisturizers. Avoid harsh soaps and use a moisturizer. Clean your eyelids. This is one of the more difficult areas to clean and treat. If the skin of your eyelids becomes red or scaly then you can wash them nightly with baby shampoo. Use a cotton swab to wipe away scaly skin. Apply a warm compress to soothe the skin and wipe away scaly skin as well. Remove scaly skin from your hair. This is not quite the same as a full dandruff treatment, but it may help with light removal of skin particles from the hair itself. Apply a few drops of mineral oil or olive oil directly to your scalp. Leave the drops in for one hour. Comb or brush out your hair and wash it with warm water.